a matter about uh, volume? No, 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 it's all good. Yeah. It is very much Burger King over here as opposed to Macca's. Yeah, very much. Yeah. So Lucas, how, how is this your first time in New Zealand? I mean, what's taking you so long to get over here? To be honest, I think there's enough uh, Marys and the stuff in, in Sydney anyway. <laughs> so it didn't really matter. Yeah, yeah. Um, honestly, I don't, I don't know. I've always wanted to see New Zealand, obviously for, for what it has in terms of countryside and, and the greenery and all that sort of stuff. You, you see a lot of the movies are done over here and it's something picturesque that you do want to see. Um, it's just never happened. Uh, I've always wanted to fight over here, so when, when I did get the opportunity to um, come over here with Junior Party and everything else, I thought that was that was two birds with well, one stone sort of thing. So for me, it was perfect. So what about this Junior fight, uh, Junior Party fight that sort of intrigued you? Because because you look much bigger than him. You, you look like sort of like this is going to be almost sort of a kind of easy fight for you. I mean, do you see like that or? Well, to be honest, that's that's his fault. Okay, That's so not my fault. I'm yeah, a true yeah. heavyweight and, and I've always been a true heavyweight since I've been about 12. Um, where he, if he walks around 130 kilos, that's, that's his fault, not mine. Yeah, being 5 foot 8 or 9 or whatever he is, like he probably should be around about the 80 kilo mark. Okay. Which I don't think will ever happen again. Um, but that's, that, that, that's, that's his, his issue. Um, in saying that, like Mike Tyson was uh, 5 foot 10 and was a heavyweight, you know what I mean? So that's, that's where he's chosen to be. So. I, I'm not doing anything wrong by fighting him. It's just it's his fault that he's short and I'm not. <laughs> but he ha plus, he has the belts on the line as well, right? So you got the the WBC. With uh, WBC belt, yeah. yeah. Um, is that is that a is that a, pres a prestigious belt like the the, the silver? Any anything WB or yeah. WC. You got WBA, yeah. WBC, IBF, WBO. So anything of those four will give you good rankings across the board, and uh, it's something that I'm looking for at the moment because. I want to be able to get back up in the rankings and you know, get back on the world stage. So um, this fight for me is very important because not only a, a, a new trainer, making sure everything's good, um, I'm mentally ready, uh, physically ready, um, it's got the good rankings as well. So for me, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about the whole thing because it's, it, it is a process. And I think the process is really coming together with this one. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we're ooh. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> How do you find driving, by the way, in New Zealand? Compared it's to good, it's compared good. It's to different yeah. when you've got a camera on you and you try to yeah. talk. <laughs> no, no, yeah, it, yeah. it's good. It's, it's very much the same as Australia, which is great. Um, so, other than almost crashing just then, I've been doing very well. Um, I guess, I guess, I guess the the big fight that everyone, I, I guess, want to see the the Taz Tasman rivalry. Yeah. Joseph Parker, what do you make of him? When was the first time you heard of Parker? Um, do. You, when, when it comes to heavyweights, I'm always very interested in all in all heavyweights. So um, keep your eye on the game. People yeah. ask me about lighter weight guys, and I have no idea who they are, what they do, or anything else. But I know all the heavyweights, so Park has always been on my radar for that reason. Um, very, very excited, very happy that he's gone through the WBO route and, and got the title and, and been the first, uh, I think it's the first New Zealand heavyweight champion ever, all that sort of stuff. I think that's absolutely sensational. Um, it is something that, that will happen and it's going to happen. Um, so it's, it's a matter of time. I think with his fight against Flores, I think he'll, he'll come through with flying colours. Um, myself, I'm also very confident, as you can imagine, you, I'm always very confident in every fight, but um, I'm very confident I'll, I'll win tomorrow night. So it leaves us with like, should we should we do it now or maybe later on? So we'll, we'll have a chat with Higgins, see where everyone's at, and then we'll take it from there. So uh, how did you assess his fight with uh, with the Dillian White? How did you think that one? I think he should have done, done, yeah. done a little bit more um, earlier. So in the tenth round, uh, sorry, twelfth round. Yeah, knocked him down and, and had him on the ropes and everything else. I think he, if he did that maybe the 10th or 11th, he could have actually got him out of there. Okay. So I think Dylan White won the fight. Um, and I think Dylan White in general is doing very, very well. Uh, he's, he was in the, the best condition of his life against me. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't. But um, 
Did you, he's, he's, yeah. he's carried that on, you know what I mean? Did so, you like the lead up to that fight? Because you seem to be playing the race card a bit too much. Was it was it did, was it kind of a downer for you? Like the... yeah, yeah. It, it, for, for me, that that sort of thing is very much so. But yeah. it, it's, I, I assume it's his way of getting into people's heads. And do the, you think it worked? Like, do you think it? Nah. No. Okay. No, nah, it just pissed me off really. So, yeah. but the, the worst thing for people who know me, the worst thing you want to do is piss me off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, um, it was my downfall that that I didn't bring it to the table on the night um, but yeah it, it just really just pissed me off I think it made him look a little bit silly as well yeah I, I think it did I yeah. think it did which isn't a good thing because it seemed like a cheap shot because you know people it know was. you for a long time yeah that's right that's right and yeah if, anyone who knows me and knows my my background and, and everything else like I love I love the darker chicks um, <laughs> yeah. my kids are my kids are half Filipino you know what I mean okay. so there's the Asian card um, I grew up with all the Lebanese fellas, so there's, there's, there's your like your uh, uh, Arab card. So like, yeah, I don't have many Aussie white Aussie friends. Friends like in my close group, yeah, yeah. everyone's from from another country. You know? So anyone who knows me knows that's bullshit anyway. What do you think about people saying that Parker doesn't have that venom? Like he needs a little more ferociousness. Like he he didn't want it more in, in that Dillian White fight. Like Dillian wanted it more than him. Yes, well, I, I, I agree with that. Yeah. Um, I think, to be honest, I think he hasn't shown who he was since he's actually won the world title. I think uh, with the Ruiz fight, I, I actually think Ruiz won that fight. Um, only just, but I think Ruiz won that fight. Okay. Um, prior to that, he was he was much tougher, stronger, faster, and had more of an aggro to him. Um, and I think since then, he sort of just dropped off just that little bit. He's still a great fighter, don't get me wrong, but. I think he, he hasn't shown what he was originally for, for a while now. Why do you think that is? Do you think it's just life is good now and it, you know what I mean? It doesn't have to struggle as much or uh, life uh, is made? I don't know. Yeah, I, I honestly don't know. Like everyone's different. Okay. And I'm not sure what his, his, his deal and situation would be, but uh, I know that, that could be a factor, yeah, definitely. But he's he's already he's he's uh, he sent messages to you, right? About yeah, I, t I talk to all the boxers all the time. So okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. And he seems like a really nice guy, though. I mean, yes, so that's that's definitely a fight that people w would love to see. So, what about Higgins? What do you make of him? Uh, I think he, Higgins loves to talk. I think he li likes to hear the sound of his own voice. But from a like a promoter and pers a, from a boxer that wants a promoter, I think that's perfect because you you want your face and uh, your fight and everything else to get out there and be promoted as much as possible. So I think it's a good thing. Okay. Yeah. And uh, training in Thailand, how do you think that's, uh, that's helped you out? Was that a new experience for you? or uh... Definitely a new experience. First time in Thailand for me. Um, extremely hot uh, to the point where like I was just uncomfortable, didn't like it. Hot. It was just wrong. Um, but in terms of, as, as I said, the process, I think it's done wonders for me in the preparation for this fight and then coming back into a cooler climate i think it's absolutely sensational because a lot of kickboxers go to thailand right it's yeah like, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it's very much a kickboxing thing or muay thai all that sort of stuff but um fighters in general like you got all the mma uh, boys go over there as well and i, I don't think it's an absolutely sensational prep for any fight okay and uh, Ty, you know you know you mentioned yesterday in the interview that the ricky had in situation mm -hmm. what's what's happening there I'm actually not going to say anything more on that. Okay. But, okay. <laughs> just, just so I don't get in trouble as well. Um, okay. I've, I've been told not to say anything. Um, but you don't see that causing legally as well. That's so. not causing any issues with Parker fight or anything from happening, nah, right? No, no, no. Okay, no, okay. No, okay. No. I, I'm pretty much finishing up with Hatton. Okay. And that's all I can. So the fight, say, yeah. the fight is like the, it's looking like a green light then. Like yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. yeah. There's, there's, there's no reason why it, it can't happen now. No. no. <laughs> I want to know why the air conditioning isn't working. That's yeah, yeah, I know. I'm, you've been trying to figure it out for a yeah. Well, I'm assuming you just press that uh, up. What about auto? What does that do? Now we turn it up. Oh, there we go. I think it just might not work. Because that's on, that's on full. Yeah, that's on full. Is the AC on? Yeah, AC's on. Yeah. By the way, that's uh, Sky Tower. Yes, yes, that's yes. That's the iconic. I think I think the uh, the one in Sydney is better. Oh, you, you guys got a okay. <laughs> yeah, we got a uh, center point tail. Okay. Yeah. You're already throwing shots. Uh, of yeah, course, man. Yeah, no, you that's how you get, promote a fight, right? Start. That's yeah, right. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Now, I, I think if Parker and I ever get together, um, 
it won't be any bad blood or any like bullshit. It's just basically two fellas coming together wanting to fight. So I think it'll be great. And um, your quick prediction on uh, you know Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder. How do you see that going? There's there's two ways to look at that. You got um, if uh, Fury can stay away from Wilder, Fury will win it over a points decision. Um, but like we've seen him in, in, in particularly the the recent fights with Wilder and everything else, even if he's losing the fight. If he lands that one punch, it is all over. And I think if he does land, it's over. So for me, I think I'm, I'm, I'm picking 12 round decision for Fury, or most likely round six, round seven knockout by Wilder. You, you're friends with Tyson, right? Like, um, yeah. like, do you think if he wins this fight, do you think it possibly goes back into that state of mind he was in? Like, uh, I think so. I think so. Yeah. yeah you think yeah. he goes right back into that? It gives him um, sort of some validity. Last word, BJ. Vali right validity. Right word. Spell it, Jackson. No. Um, I think uh, it sort of just solidifies another big word where where he is and um, and who he is. So it puts him right back to where he should be. Yeah. Would you ever like that fight? Like if it if it happened? Like yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I've sparred him the once in um, UK. Now, when I say sparred, it was pretty much piss take. He was throwing spinning back elbows and all sorts of stuff at me. So it wasn't exactly a, a fun experience, but. Um, he is very, very good at what he does. He's six foot nine, extremely long, but moves like he's about six foot one. You know what I mean? Like he's he's, he's very competent in what he does and very good with his boxing skills. So, because cause, yeah, I, I saw him when I was at Joseph Parker when he was challenging Yui Fury. Yep. And he was massive. He is. And yeah, I yeah. just never thought he was gonna do it. I just thought, I thought that's that's a waste of a talent, you know? Yeah, yeah. But then yeah. to see him actually lose it is sort of. Um, yeah, I, I think men, mental mental health is a very important thing, especially with men. Like, I think women talk about it a lot just between themselves and they sort a lot of things out between themselves. But when it comes to men, men uh, very much, yeah, I, I'm tough, I don't need it, I don't need help, all that sort of stuff. And, and I think um, to have to have someone around who can help and talk and, and, and be positive and, and, and have gone through it and yeah, show the young fellas that it's okay to talk about it, all that sort of stuff, I think it's really good. So um, I think if he comes out on the other end of this, even if he loses, like if he puts on a good performance, he's still back to where he should be, which is, I think is great. Uh, you know, after this fight, are you going to do any sightseeing? Are you going to just take, take a little bit of a holiday or? Well, my flight is 10.45 a.m. Uh, Sunday morning. So on the way to the airport, yeah, that's about it. Well, why do you do, why do you do that? Why do you um, most most uh, why not, promotions? Why not see the place? You know, well, most, most promotions. That's actually how it happens. Okay, um, okay, okay. I've had I've had fights in UK where I've basically gone to the hospital, got some stitches, got home to the hotel about three a.m. and I left at six a.m. for the flight. Wait, so, so, no, so you're saying no, after no the sleep. after the white fight you left the next? Yeah, 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 straight away. Bang, straight on the plane and we're gone. Jeez. Yeah. And that that happens all the time. That's just what happens. So generally, the promoters have to pay an extra day for, for um, accommodation, all that sort of stuff, and they don't want to do it. So, got it, yeah. got it, got it. Um, but I guess, I guess, I guess you'll be back for the Parker fight, right? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Yeah. That's a good, good, good call, good call. Yeah. But um, I, I guess if you beat Parker, that opens up the uh, the door for the Fury fight, right? I mean, I mean, anything's possible after that, right? It is, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, as I said, with the WBC belt and rankings, it really does open up a lot of doors for me uh, on the world stage again. Just so, uh, with that, I'm following someone, yeah, yeah, and, and, and I'm not sure if he knows what the hell's going on. So, not only am I driving in a, uh, a foreign country, he's not exactly good at what he does. Just, uh, just a question about hey, uh, hey. Hi, <laughs> Jeff, Jeff Horn, and uh, and Anthony Mundine. Uh, yeah, Mundine. Um, how do you see that one go? I think Mundine's a little, getting a little bit too old. Uh, what is he, 40, 43? I'm not sure, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, he's still in good condition. Um, and no doubt he can still box and still be uh, fast and everything else, but he just won't be as fast as what he used to be. Um, where Jeff Horn will just come forward the entire time and pressure him. So I think uh, Jeff Horn later rounds will just put too much on Mundine and, and be able to get over top of him. And, and what do you make of Jeff Horn? Do you see him as, like I know he got beat with Terence Crawford. Yep. Do you think he can be back at the top? Yes and no. I've, I've never been, not, not a fan, because obviously he's Australian, I'm, I'm a big fan of Australian peoples, but uh, when it comes to him as a boxer, 
I don't think he's overly special. I think he's very good at what he does and, and, and precious people and everything else. But he's not something like a Terence Crawford. You're like, wow, like you, to watch him, it's, it's great. Um, again, you know, a, a Floyd Mayweather, you watch him, you're like, wow, he's, he's, he's something special. You know, what I, mean? I, I think um, I think he's very ordinary, but very good at what he does. So that Pacquiao fight, you just think it was just the hungrier fighter just went in there and did whatever it takes pretty to get much, that win? Pretty much. And I also think that the only reason people know him is because he fought Pacquiao. If he fought yeah. someone else, like like myself, like I, I fought for a world title, but I fought Shigeev in Chechnya, yeah, because, who no one knew, yeah. so no one cared. You know what I mean? So because he fought Pacquiao, everyone's like, wow, we know Pacquiao. And that's what created the interest and the buzz. Um, yeah, you got a... a a parade and through the streets and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely the kid, sensational. Kid the city. Yeah, 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 like congratulations to him, and that's what should happen. Um, I'm, a, I'm a slightly jealous if you want to actually be specific about it because I, don't, I got nothing. <laughs> you know I mean? That is true. Right? Yeah, if you come yeah. to think about it, yeah. Yeah, I, I got I got more attention for the drugs related the issues than anything else, and that just shows you what media is like and what what people are like. They want to see a scandal more than you know someone being successful. So you didn't get a you didn't get like a parade or, or some sort of celebration for you. Okay, I got I got back to Sydney Airport. I, I live in Perth, but I, I was in Sydney at the time. So I got back to Sydney Airport, and there were three cameras and news outlets there at the air, uh, airport. That was it. When I got back to Perth Airport a week later, there was none, zero. Uh, when the drugs thing came out about a week or so later, there was 15 cameras. Oh, okay. The, so that, that, that shows you the difference, yeah. So no one really cared because no one knew who Shigeo was. Yeah. But, but nobody, if you think about it, going to someone's hometown and getting it, that's like Jeff on going to the Philippines and beating Pacquiao there. That is exactly right. Um, getting, getting, uh, see, we're also talking about Russia, Chechnya. Yeah, um, yeah. It wasn't exactly a, like, I got treated like an absolute movie star, which is great, so don't get me wrong, I'm, 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 I got treated well and it was a beautiful experience. But it wasn't exactly the nicest place to, to go and, and feel good, safe about everything, you know what I mean? Um, a, a home fight would have been much better for myself and, and I'm assuming she gave would have felt great about where he was because his best mate was the president. Well, I think, I mean, uh, if I had to explain it, because, you know, Jeff Juan's cousin, he's the mayor of the city and... Oh, there you go. I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, so he's the, he's the actual mayor of Brisbane, so... Well, it all makes sense now, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> I guess he was the one that actually organised the parade and everything, so... Yeah, um, yeah. Does that make you feel a little bit better or...? <laughs> Um, yeah, of course, why not? Um, and as I said, I, I think he deserves it, don't get me wrong. And I, I think any boxer who does you know, perform at that level should get something like that. Like, we're, we're representing our country at the same time, so everyone should get behind it. Do you think if you beat if you beat Parker, things might change? Like, uh, definitely, right? I mean, in Australia, they'll be 15 because, yeah. because it's a name? Yeah. I think so, yes, yes. Um, and again, should, should, should I have gone over to Fort Shigeev? And, or, sorry, should I have not gone over and, and basically said, no, no one knows who he is, doesn't matter. You know what I mean? So I had the choice of either going for a world title or, or giving it up, but I would have rather gone for a world title, even though he didn't have a big name. Uh, just one question I ask boxers is anxiety. How do you deal with that? Like, you know, before a ring and the, the pressures, how do you deal with the whole mental game? That side of thing has never, ever bothered me because I. I not at all? No, nah, no, zero. Like, my literally, my first fight was in the cage. Um, and I fell asleep in the change room before the fight. But what? It never bothered me yet. Because I, I have done um, 13 years of security. So for me, to be in a controlled environment with a ring, uh, obviously a referee, if something goes wrong, for me it was fine. Um, with security, you're always worried about getting bottled or mates and yeah, three on, three on one, all yeah. that sort of stuff. And if you do end up punching someone, everyone looks at you and says, why did you do that? You know? So I punch someone, knock someone out in the ring, everyone cheers and I get paid for it. So it's great. So, oh wow, that's cool. So is that something you can teach or no? That just comes with experience, yeah, isn't it? Definitely experience, yeah, 100% experience. It's like, it's like driving a car. Like my, my daughter, unfortunately, she's probably won't want me to say this, but she just failed her first uh, driving test. Okay. But she was nervous, as, as people do, as people get nervous. So if she was, you know, for, for a lot of her life, driving cars in the country and this, that and the other, like she would have got in the car and would have been absolutely sweet. So it's a, it's a bad experience, definitely. Because being nervous sort of almost just makes you forget what you're doing sometimes, right? I mean, uh, it does. It, it does. could just yeah. shut off the actual bad decisions and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm always extremely comfortable, just calm, sometimes too calm. So I should be a little bit more urgent and aggro with everything. 
How's the how's the boxing scene in Perth? Like, uh, do you follow the local scene as well? Is it yeah, is it a growing thing? Um, yeah, boxing in Australia is good in general. Um, unfortunately, there isn't as much money and interest is in it as there is in, for example, UK or uh, America. Okay. So if you do like pretty much any sport, unfortunately, if you do want to make something of yourself and some big dollars, you got to go overseas. Is there anyone we should be keeping an eye on? Uh, any, uh, any? There's a young guy called uh, Jackson. He's sitting in the back seat. <laughs> He's, he's uh, got a world, uh, world title. He's got a Aussie title okay. coming up in December. Um, but yeah, like there, there is a lot of young, good young talents around. Um, in our gym alone, we have a guy that's going for an IBF um, eliminator, stuff like that. What's his name? Do you want to put it on? He'll be able to give you the full, the full uh, yeah, spiel. Yeah, Steve Gargo. He's a welterweight. He's uh, nine and zero, oh, and uh, he just fought in the semi-final in China on an IBF uh, eliminator, Silk Road eliminator. And he's now in the final in uh, February, which will give him a world ranking. And obviously, uh, once you've got that, you can uh, start to demand a, a higher person, um, a higher caliber of uh, opponent. And I'm guessing Tommy has interviewed him and has done the Tommy what from T2T? No, see, we're no. Perth, dude. Okay, okay. Yeah, so Tommy Perth, needs yeah. to branch out a little more. He does, he does. <laughs> okay. We've got uh, another guy called Francis Chua. Um, and he's also fighting, uh, is it Kai McKenzie? Is that right? Yep. Kai McKenzie, which will again will give him like a number three uh, world ranking, stuff like that. So it's, it's, it's good for me to be the older person in the gym um, who's sort of been there, done that as well, and be able to give some sort of experience onto the, the younger fellas as they come through. Do you get recognized much in New Zealand? Do you, do you, do you get stopped off? Or do people, uh, I mean, do you have that name recognition here? Uh, yes and no. I think it would be more more where I Boxing go. Boxing fans, eh? If, if I was to go in to other areas, I'd, I'd get a lot more. Um, I think we're in a very posh, yeah. posh I will, area. Uh, I will, I'll stop the interview now. But uh, anyway, thanks for that, Lucas. That was pretty cool to uh, just just speak your mind while uh, driving and uh, you, a big camera over here. So sorry Sweating my ass off. Yeah. But uh, looking forward to seeing you at the weigh-in. So thank you for your time. Thank you, sir. Serious? Okay.